welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee time. I'm so excited. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, yeah, and it's a little um, mixed bag of stuff, but I want to share. Mm. It's coffee time. I have a bit of a headache today. I think it's the weather. It's going to get ready to be rainy starting tomorrow for the rest of the week. So that usually brings a headache for me. All right, I grabbed this bucket for Luna Dog. It's a, you could put dog food or treats or whatever. I keep treats here for her when she's here and I was needing a bigger container. I will tell you though, if you gift, like have a dog in your family or your life that you gift, this is fantastic to fill with like treats and stuff and give it as a gift. Um, and for a dollar fifty, you know, and it keeps everything airtight. Excuse me. This is rubber. So it does a good job of keeping things airtight that I open for her. Okay, we have some food. We'll start with the cats. I'm going to try these treats for my Wellington. They're soft. I don't know if he'll like them or not. Um, I sometimes just like to try new things. He loves Temptations. Don't get me wrong. But I thought maybe we would try those. I don't know. I grabbed some pork rinds. I am going, I have a, oh guys, I've got some trips coming up. So this weekend, unfortunately, I had a tragic loss in my family and we're traveling out of town for a funeral. Um, and so snacks, I have to kind of think ahead for snacks for myself. I'm more of a snacker than an eater to be truthful, but, um, I like this brand of pork rinds, the hers. And so I try to pick up a few things just to keep on hand. So I grab those for that. Because then next week, um, which I don't know when this will be for you, but I'm going to Myrtle Beach to visit my brother and take in my niece, Sarah. And I'm hoping to do a vlog of that weekend so you'll get to meet Sarah. And then in October, I'm going to England. I did it. I booked a trip to London. Um, I'm so excited. I'll tell you all about it in my floss tube video, but just know that I'm going. So I have to start stocking up on some snacky stuff for that too. Um, this is for here. I wanted to try it. I can't remember if I've tried the pumpkin spice and you know, it's getting on fall and this is sugar free. So I thought I would give it a go. I'm not sure if I've had it before or not. So I thought I would try it. Now I will be stocking up on these Tillamook meat sticks, especially the original and the pepperoni. These are fantastic for me to travel with. Um, they are all natural. There's no sugar involved. And I'm trying to find the nutrition. So they have five grams of fat. They have nine grams of protein. So that's important for me that I have more protein than fat. And I don't think there's any carbohydrates. If there is, it's like one. Where'd it go? I don't see the carbohydrates, calories, fat, cholesterol, sodium. Yeah, I don't see, oh, maybe on this one. Oh, I have to rip it open. Oh, carbs. So the pepperoni has four carbs, which is a little higher than I like. Uh, which is interesting because the original has zero carbs and the pepperoni has four. I'm wondering if they put some sugar in here. I don't know. Nine grams of protein, gluten-free. So I'll get the, the original. But these are good. Even at four carbs, usually this is like a meal for me. If I'm out on the run or I'll have like this and a piece of cheese or something. But these are fantastic. And they have a great shelf life. Um, these are good. Best by April of 2023. So I just buy a few while I see them. So I need to stock up on those. I'm not sure about this, but I thought I would try it. It's summer sausage, they're calling it. It doesn't really look like any summer sausage I've ever had. Um, but it was only two grams of carbohydrates. They did put a little corn syrup in here. So questionable if I'm going to eat this or not. But I grabbed two while I was running through the store. Um, to see. I was curious. So we'll see depending what I do with that. And I think that's it for food items, actual food. 
So I went to a different Dollar Tree. This one was down in Canal Winchester, which is, I think it's east of me. I don't know those things, but it's, it's a little bit away, like 10 minutes from where I live. And they had some different fall stuff. So they had the spatula. And I love these. I will tell you that I, um, I just threw away a bunch of old spatulas. So I needed a new one anyway. But it says, hello, fall. And I love the color. I'm loving this color for fall this year. And then they had these fun little, like, you can bake bread in these. I mean, these are definitely microwave, dishwasher, oven safe. And they say, fall is my favorite color. But I was talking to the lady at the register and she said somebody had told her they're going to put it on their sink for their sponges and stuff. And I said, perfect. However, for me, this is a good size to even make like a meatloaf in or something because for single. So I grabbed one. They had other designs, but that's the one I grabbed. And then they had these little like ramekins, also microwave, dishwasher, safe, same Royal, Dal Royal, Royal Norfolk, which is the Dollar Tree brand. And this says, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. In here, but I thought this would be great for a cheese ball. You know, if I have any entertaining or even just for me, like again, I can bake a small quiche in here or something. So these are perfect for my household. So I grabbed, and they also had different ones, but these were new this year, and I thought they were so exciting. Also, housewarming gift, if you go to somebody's house, super cute, put like maybe some bread kits in it or something, or bake some bread in this size. I just think they're adorable. They are cute. Um, oh, I have some other stuff that I saw. I grabbed these plain gift wraps. Um, I am making an advent book this year for Sarah. I'm going to do a video. I've been watching some, I've been watching some videos. They're not in English and I've been kind of looking on Pinterest. So I don't have one specific person to credit it to. And a lot of the, um, directions I saw were in French. So I'm assuming this is like a French thing, but I don't really know, but, and I'm making it my own, like I do everything else, but I needed some large uh, sheets of paper and I also have the craft paper which is the natural this is the white obviously and this is the red so I needed some solid wide paper to cover the books and then I will decorate them with cross I mean with um, scrapbook paper so I grabbed these while they were in store I was looking for black but I haven't been able to find black but that's okay. I think the red is going to be perfect, but just in case I got the white as well. And then on Amazon, I ordered little paper boxes because I didn't want to make them. I mean, for all being truthful here, right? Um, for one of my trips coming up, I grabbed one of these travel toothbrushes and the Crest Whitening. I love these little kits, um, especially like, so I'm going to be gone to... England I will be taking eight days off of work and I will be traveling two days going and a day coming back and so these are fantastic for my purse and luggage so like maybe I'll get another small tube of toothpaste because twice a day this probably won't last the whole time but then when I leave I just toss it like I don't even drag this home with me I just throw it away and this is the brand is dental guru fresh toothbrush with a cap and it is less than three ounces so that i can take this on the plane with me and like because i'll be flying overnight i want to brush my teeth and freshen up before i try to sleep so i grabbed that and i found these here let's do our thumbnail Um, these are definitely new and look, they're little gift boxes. So we're going to see what they look like. You get two per package. So the package comes with just two. And I assume that this is supposed to look like a pumpkin. So, and it's already like pre-marked for all of your folds. So if anybody does paper crafting and then, hmm. Let's look at the picture. Oh, okay. So you put 
the two green pieces together and then whatever you have in here. So what I would do is put your two green pieces together and, or maybe we'll do one at a time. I don't know. This is the one frustrating thing about Dollar Tree stuff is you don't get, um, you don't get directions. So somehow we're gonna put this together, right? So you slide this up through, slide that up through, right? And you wanna do it while you're sitting it on the table because you gotta give it a good bow. And then we'll go up under here and do the same thing. I know you're not seeing me. That's not gonna work. So maybe, maybe what we'll do is this and then we're gonna kind of push it down flat like push these arms down and then okay yeah 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 okay so here's how we're doing it you push the center down like that and then you flip this up over the top okay okay and then it's a little gift box and it holds a little treasure like a treat maybe or something. I don't know. They just looked fun. So I grabbed three packages because I thought, well, I can use these at Thanksgiving. Maybe put a little to-go treat or something or some type of little treasure in here for the youngins. I don't know, guys. I'm trying to show you good stuff. Okay, I picked up two more of the fake leather. I'm going to take these out, but... I've had this color before. It's like the brown, but I never saw black. My stores have only had white, navy blue in this brown color. And my this other store I went to had the black. And I'm going to do a DIY and cover a book because I'm really into this fake leather. It smells like plastic, but you get a decent a decent sized piece. And I have seen people painting on it. So, and hot gluing it, which I think is pretty darn fantastic. So I thought, well, let me grab one in black. I know I have a uh, one brown, but I thought I should get a second because it'll match all my fall stuff. Sorry, I got the hiccups. And I love navy blue and white for crafting, but we'll see. So I just grabbed one more because I think this brown is going to be the hit with all the fake leather fall stuff that they're coming out with. There you go, you can see it. So I grabbed just one more of the brown and then I didn't have the black. Um, I'm digging for here to find like stuff. I don't remember if I bought these last year. I know these are not new, but I can't remember what shapes I picked up last year. And I love mushrooms. So I grabbed some mushrooms and these are just little wooden mushrooms. And then they have egg cords. I love egg cords. Obviously, if you saw my thrift haul, I have a huge one to put out this fall, and I cannot wait to decorate. So they had these, and I think they had pears and I or apples, and I remember they had the apples last year, and I feel like I bought them, but I couldn't remember if I bought the mushrooms and the acorns. And these are just plain wood. You can paint them up or leave them natural or stain them. Like you can do anything with those. So I think they would be good table decoration or scatter or attach to like wreaths even. Um, I found these in the squirrel. So I have the egg corn and the squirrel, and those are going to make the most adorable garland. I feel like a squirrel and an egg corn. And I might even like paint the egg corns like a gold top or something. I don't know, but I thought these were fun. Now you only get five of these. And I felt like with the ornaments without the black, you got six, but five, six, it doesn't really matter. They're, they're saying that they're ornaments, but I feel like with the hole here, you could hang them on a garland or put a, um, like a cube behind it and they can stand up even or in a tiered tray. So fun. So fun. I think a lot of this stuff is going to be DIY stuff, if I'm not mistaken. I did grab this book. I didn't really care what the book was because I wanted it for a Halloween book. So I wanted it to be black and that's really what I care is that it's black. So what I would do is hot glue the black on it. I'm not going to make the book from 
um, Hocus, I might, because they're coming out with Hocus Pocus 2 in September. But I was just going to make like a spell book or Halloween book, not necessarily one that is copied after anything. Um, but I'm using the black fake leather on this book. That's why I wanted the black for Halloween. Right? Right. Um, oh, one more cooking thing. They have these, which are the silicone pants. Now, I will say, I used the silicone Easter Bunny ones, and they were fantastic. This particular ones feel very cheap to me, like very thin. I mean, I can just like, they're just really like bendy. I'm going to try to put a cake in it and see what I come up with. Um, I think if I put it on a cookie sheet, I can put the batter in. It probably will take some work to get it up, up into like the stem and stuff. And the stems don't go all the way down. But I will make up a keto, a keto. I found a recipe for a keto almond cake, like an Italian almond cake. And you use almond flour and almond extract. And I maybe I'll put them in here and try them for um, Thanksgiving. So I like these. I love the pumpkin shape. You could also make ice cubes in here or chalk. See, I don't know if hot chocolate would work, like melting chocolate, because I don't know if it's sturdy enough to pop it out. But I would say try. Also, you could make in here, which I have used before. You remember the little ones that came like that big? I melted, not melted. I softened butter to room temperature, and then I would fill it into here up to the top and put it in the fridge. You could pop it out and put these on your Thanksgiving table, like just scattered around and people could share because obviously that's a large serving of butter, but molded butter is fantastic. And you can just put these on a saucer and put them on the middle of your Thanksgiving table with a little butter knife and have them scattered about. I do that frequently with the, the different molds that Dollar Tree sells. Um, they used to have the half pumpkins. I don't know if they're gonna come back with them this year, but they've had them for many years. Um, and I think you got like 12 individual holes and I made butters for that and put it on people's plates. It's true. Um, they also came back out with the rub on transfer sticker. I will not put this on a glass. I have a feeling it will go in my planner for November and it's just one rub off transfer and it says, hello, Autumn. Hello, Moto. I got that. I picked up one of these. I was going to do it last year and I never did. So I'm going to try it this year. And that is to put it on the front of a cotton t-shirt and spray it with bleach and see if it can make this design because I think that would be super cool on a t-shirt with the bats and the house. Um, yeah. So that's my plan with this. If I get around to it this year, we'll hope. But they're back out with these. I know this was from last year for sure. Just a couple more things. Um, now, these aren't new, but I did grab them to decorate something that I'm going to show you in a second. And these are on the little clippies. You can take them off the little clippies or you can leave them on. And they're just super easy to use as decoration if you just leave them on their little clippies. But if you're going to hot glue them, you can just rip them right off the clip. And if they fall off, you could just use a little hot glue to get it back on. I believe they had these last year as well. And this says, all year long, I dream of autumn. And um, I think these are pretty darn fantastic. Um, I would love to stain this wood, but I don't know if it's real wood. I know the beads are wood. So yes, I just think this is super cute. And this is going to go in a, my tiered tray for fall. In the last through Thanksgiving, because you know I do Halloween's giving. Um, so it says all year long, I dream of autumn and I will tell you that the, you're not going to see it, but the pattern on here is almost like a leather on the back. Like it's stamped on a leather, like there's a texture to the, I don't know if you'll be able to see that little bit of texture, which I think is really cool because everything is really cool. Also for my tiered tray this year, they had the maple leaves, but it has initials it's off center. You know, it is what it is. They're a dollar. I found one with my last name's initial, but I love this. And quite frankly, if it were to bother me too much, I could totally 
take a sander and sand this paper off and re-glue my own paper and put my ass on it. I just don't think it's that important for a tiered tray. You know what I mean? Because you're like burying it. Probably nobody will realize that there's an initial on this. I just like the print. So I grabbed one of that. And then they had this sign. And I don't, I think this is new, but it says pumpkin spice for life with the little coffee <laughs> and this is going over my coffee bar I will figure out a way to like put it over there attach it somehow this is not one that has something on the back but I appreciate that they went and did the detail of the black on the sides um this end I'm gonna need to like fix because the paper what Alex the paper was too long not a big deal I could also put this like in my kitchen on a shelf or something but it's appropriate and I love it I love the little pumpkin and the little coffee right love it and the last thing I picked up and I know this isn't new but my stores never got them or if they got this last year I never saw them but it's the Halloween Christmas tree I mean, are we calling it a Halloween Christmas tree I don't know but we're gonna see what it looks like okay so it's just orange and black. I probably should have got two, but it's okay. So I will fluff this up. And then I picked up the ornaments, two packs. These I think are going to go fast too, because my store literally had these two and that was it. So I grabbed two packages. I thought I would decorate this tree. And then I would put some purple glitter spiders just randomly around it. Maybe one at the top. I'm not sure, but... I also maybe will get some purple garland for this tree. And if I don't like, I may get a second one so I can put them together and make them. I like it when they're a little more fluffy. And so if you take two and you open them up and you open everything one way and open the other one this way. And then I take some zip ties and hold them together. And then I shove them in a, like a metal pot with some um, floral foam and they'll stand up for you. And you can use hot glue if you want to hold it upright, but then you get like a fluffier tree. And then I can do the ornaments on it. And then I thought I would do some of these and then maybe some garland. And if I can't find a fun garland that I like, um, Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree in the craft section had um, this colored pop, um, pipe cleaners chenille sticks but the metallic ones and they're thick enough that I think if you folded them properly you could end up with a really cute garland I'm bagging up while I'm talking to you a really cute garland for that as well so I think what's going to happen so my future plans is I need to go to the funeral this weekend which unfortunately means I can't go to Pelotonia which I'm really sad about missing my ride but family is more important and I'm not sad I'm disappointed that I can't ride in the Pelotonia but the important thing is I raised the money for it and I need to be there for my family so you know that's what's important so that's what I have to do um but after Pelotonia weekend then I go away for four days and then when I come back I will get ready and start decorating for fall because then I'm not leaving for England until the middle of October but I want to have everything done for fall at least the fall portion and probably the Halloween get some Halloween stuff out before I go so when I come home it's done so I will say fun little thing that um, since I made this last minute decision to go to England, I'm not going to get my office painted right away because that's going to be expensive on top of this trip. But I really want to take this trip. And so I'm going to just push off the painting of my office or I'm going to paint it myself. So if I was going to hire somebody, it would have cost well over $500 to get my office bathroom and closet in there painted. So, and that's a lot of money to be spending and taking an expensive trip. And I wanna take the trip. So, I can either paint it myself or wait until next summer and have my office painted, um, which may be what I end up doing. Hi, Alex, you want to say hi, come here. Yes, I know, your brother's outside. Oh, squeeze squeeze Yeah. He loves it when I squeeze him. 
All right, that is everything that I have. I hope you enjoyed the fun little things that I got. If you find a spatula, I think you need it because we can mix. It's a big one too. Oh, they had another one with a gnome on it, I think, but I really liked this one. All right, that's everything, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye.